Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you guys are here. Today we're going to talk about a knife that I was gifted that is, I think, out of production. I can't find anything on this company, either on their Instagram or on their website. It is Servant Knives, and this is going to be the Simpleton CPM3V. 12 or 35 series made back in December of 2020 um, looks like the company was established in 2016 but before we jump into it and they're also made in Elizabeth Colorado it's where they were made in the USA but before we get into it I want to say thank you to all the channel members thank you guys so much and thank you to anybody who comes in to take the time to watch the knife the EDC content I appreciate all y'all's time uh, I would ask, if you're so inclined and you've got the time, if you'd hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. If you haven't, it would really help me out. But this is the Servant Knives Simpleton, which is a beefy little miniature drop point knife with a really nice swedge, bevel, grind, um, thick stock, you can see Servant kind of stamped into the tang there. Um, it's got a very sharp, almost like a uh, convex grind, or I've sharpened it on a regular stone, but it looks like it was rounded to start with. But just a really comfortable knife. It's got a G10 handle with a lanyard hole. And this, for those of you with bigger hands, or if you like a small lanyard like the Aries EDC had or the Aries Bloom to give you something else to grip onto, that would give you a great place for it. What I like about it is I can get a full three finger grip and this little knot at the back actually helps. I can put my pinky finger behind it and it helps me hold the knife with that jimping, which is very aggressive in case I wanted to poke this into something, if this was gonna be used as a slurpee saver per se. Um, you do have that tail there, even though it's not a ring, to really lock your hand in. Um, super little knife, let me get some paper. It's not the sliciest knife in my collection of EDC fixed blades, but it is very able and it will cut. And when you look at bite, Got great bite, got a very stabby, piercy point as I miss it. But a very great little EDC knife. I have it right now hooked up on this uh, horizontal loop and I need to take my loop off and tighten it just a hair or loosen it then tighten it because what it does is it's tail heavy i usually carry this on an ulti clip and probably will put it back on an ulti clip but for now i will tweak it snap it back on Whoop. what you'll see is it's a little heavy to the tail. So now, if I carry it near my appendix, it's still gonna wanna walk to the tail. Works better for me with an ulti clip in my back pocket, very easy to deploy, has a very, very good Kydex sheath that's done very well, made very well, retains very well. Um, and again, the knife to me is just a little absolute jam. Um, I hate to see that the guy's not still making knives, but things happen, no telling what he's doing. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons. Look at it next to the Civivi Baby Banter. It's going to be about the same size as the Baby Banter, which means it's going to be a great deal smaller. Or, yeah, a good bit smaller than our bug out. And let's take a look at it next to a couple of fixies, like our Bradford Guardian 3. 
and our Boker BFF. So it's about a half inch smaller than the BFF, about an inch smaller than the Bradford Guardian 3. And let's see how it stands up next to the TKL Piranha. And the Jacob Creates Chickadee. A little bit shorter than the Piranha. A little bit longer than the Chickadee. So let's get our tape measure real quickly. And let's see how long this guy is. Right at five and a half inches. With about a two and three quarter inch blade from right here. Look at our cutting edge, two and a half inches. If I look at from the center of the knot to the cutting choil, you're at two and three quarters. From the back of the handle to the cutting choil, you're at about three and a quarter. Three and a quarter from here to here. Two and three quarters from there to there. And since it's such a thick knife, Let's get an idea of what our blade stock is. First of all, let's just look at it next to the Piranha and the Chickadee. And you'll see that it is thicker than both the Chickadee, about twice as thick as the Chickadee, and about a third bigger than the, or thicker than the Piranha for just S and G's. But let's see what that actually mics out to. So our blade stock is 0 0.850 up at the tip. Whoop. You're at 0 0.470. That swedge, 0 0.0850, and then it is going to be a grippier handle right at 0.6275, so a little over half an inch, um, which gives you, like I say, that's positive grip for me. I think one thing about this little knife that is excellent for my hand is the way that little knot orchestrates in my grip, and I can see that, that might be a problem for somebody with a different hand. For my hand, it just happens to be perfect. Let me get my scale. We will do a quick weight on this guy, and we will tell the savant or the servant, Nas. I can't recommend it because it's hard to find it. If you see one on the secondary, 2.5 ounces, I think they're very well made little knives. It's a hard use little knife. 3.55 ounces in its sheath carry weight. Might be a little bit less if I put a deep concealment clip. Maybe just a couple of G's bigger with a um, ulti clip. But yeah, guys, that is the Servant Knives by Ben Kissel. Made out in Colorado. Creative custom knife maker. May the knife serve you well. That is the CEO or Certificate of Authenticity, COE, COA, blah. And there's this card, guys. So if you find anything out about it or if you guys have any of these little knives or any of his bigger knives, I'd love to know what you think about them. Uh, I'm really impressed. I think it's a great knife. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to check out the knife content. If you're still here, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. But please, most importantly look out for the guy or gal to your left look out to the guy or gal to your right look out for each other go forward with love in your heart and always choose debate not hate i love you all peace